So we're going to start with the Virginia Department of Health numbers regarding the impact of COVID-19 here in the Commonwealth. And they say as of today, 14,961 people have tested positive or are probable cases of COVID-19. That is an increase of over 600 from yesterday. Meanwhile, the number of deaths attributable to the virus rose by 30 and now stands at 522. In terms of the impact on the vi of the virus on the hospital system's capacity around Virginia, Virginia, the Virginia Hospital and Healthcare Association reports there are currently 1,566 people being treated at the moment, while 2,042 have been discharged. Now, in terms of what we can expect to hear from Governor Northam during his news conference today at 2, he said on Monday that they will be giving a comprehensive update from Dr. Karen Remley on Virginia's testing capabilities. Remley was one of the co-leaders announced of that COVID-19 testing work group when it was unveiled last week. He says their three missions are to expand test sites and testing criteria, increase testing volume and timeliness, and address the factors that limit testing. A CBS 6 Problem Solvers investigation that aired last night found that Virginia is tied for second lowest in the country when it comes to testing rates. Northam's news conference will be carried live on air and on line when it happens at 2. Working for you at the State Capitol, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.